So, some of you have asked me about a comparison between the Nike Streak Fly and the Nike Vapor Fly, um, and that's what we are going to do today. So, Nike um, sent me this box today, uh, and as usual, they nailed it with the packaging. You will see a little bit more later on. Um, find your fast. So, this is the new Nike Fast Pack, um, and yeah, let's go and have a look. So, opening up the box. Oh. You can see nice packaging. Here you see what is in the box. Uh, I have the Vaporfly Next% 2 and the Streakfly. I chose both of them because I, well, I have an Alpha Fly, uh, a very new one. So um, let's have a look. The box here comes in really nice. And, and there you have the shoes. They look quite amazing and um, I will tell you more about them now in a little bit more detail. So here are both shoes. Um, I have tested both for this one for a very long time, this one for not so much yet, but uh, still I think I have some insights into them. Um, and yeah, the first noticeable thing is, and you will feel it immediately when you put the shoes on is that this zoom x foam is very very different so this is way more stiff the vaporfly um, next percent 2 is compared to the streakfly is very stiff so the foam is very hard even if most of you will feel like it's very soft because it's way softer than a traditional um, foam but the Zoom X from the Streakfly actually is way, way softer. And that's something you will immediately feel. I kind of like it for training, but I don't like it for racing. Uh, because the softness will make it more comfortable, but it will also make it feel a little bit slower. And in training, it doesn't matter too much to me because I want a good training shoe to feel well cushioned and to avoid injuries, but still get a good session in. Um, so. That's my main take. The Streak Fly is a great training shoe. It's really, um, I've heard that before, um, it's a Pax Turbo on steroids. So it's a way better version of the Pax Turbo. It's faster, it's more dynamic, but it kind of feels the same. There is no plate inside, but um, it feels really nice. For me, this will be a shoe for longer track sessions where I don't want to wear spikes yet. It's very dynamic, more dynamic than all the carbon plated big foam shoes than uh, I've worn before. But it's not as reactive as, for example, the Takumi Sen. Um, if you want, you can go back for the video I did uh, on the comparison between the Streakfly and the Takumi Sen. So, which one would I race in? In On the 5k, I still would wear the Vaporfly. For me, it's a better shoe for racing. Uh, it's also a better shoe for longer distance. So if you have a longer session, let's say volume wise, 6K plus, um, I would choose the Vaporfly. Uh, but if it's getting really speedy and you want to feel a little bit more dynamic, I would choose the Streakfly. Um, and also a big advantage probably of the Streakfly over the Vaporfly is that there is not as much stack height. So you will be closer to the ground because I guess you have experienced the same that with those high stack shoes, you don't feel that stable. And if there is, um, let's say, a gravel road or even in the woods, well, I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend at all to go in the woods with these because you can really easily twist. But with this one, for example, like a cross-country session on dry grass, it's really comfortable for that. And I think it will um, be used for that as well a lot. So that's also an area where I think it will have a big uh, benefit, this shoe. Um, and yeah, the upper uh, is way better on this shoe. It's uh, really like a sock. It really hugs your foot. And this, um, this atom knit, it's nice and it's very comfy, 
but uh, it's not as good as the one from the street fly both of the shoes come with this nice cushion in the heel which is very comfortable for the achilles tendon the rubber on the shoe is very different you see here some riffling and here is more traditional i would say and the riffling goes all the way back here whereas here it is just pretty standard uh no real grip on that but surprisingly well even in wet conditions but again i would say here this is even better in wet conditions or for example on uh, a gravel road or on the grass so might be as well very interesting for grass rides or something like that all in all i must say the streak fly will never replace the vapor fly it's an addition but it will not replace it uh, i was expecting it to be like a really crazy 5k road shoe and i must say it's not but uh, i'm surprised by how well it will suit as a training shoe. I was expecting a racer, but it is a trainer, a fast dynamic trainer. All the fast pack is out now on uh, Nike and I will link you in the buyer down below, a link to the website. And when you purchase via that link, uh, I will hit a little commission. Uh, and yeah, I got sent these shoes. I don't get paid to make commercial for the shoes. And I try to give you my honest review. Um, but yeah, if you want to support me a little bit, uh, buy them over the link in the description. And um, yeah, also in the comments, feel free to ask about any further uh, comparison or any shoe review you want to see. And I will try uh, my best to get my hands on the shoe and run a little bit in them and review them for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.